What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and I know some of you are very opinionated when it comes to Kotaku articles and I can understand your opinion but at the same time they do have some topics that kind of catch my interest and this one definitely did so. The title itself, just you know, horror game that uses phones to turn your house into a complete nightmare. This sounds like my kind of thing because if you don't know the history of my channel or just in general the history of me as a person, I really enjoy the horror genre in a lot of fields, you know, movies, games, etc, etc. Even horror manga are really cool to me. In, fi in fact, I actually saw some manga snippets of Attack on Titan back in 2009 and I said to myself back then, holy shit, this looks pretty cool. This is like, it's just like horror based and nowadays, you know. But anyways, um, Kotaku has this crazy looking article right here, which is apparently a phone game that can be used to turn your house into some creepy ass setting, kind of like, um, kind of like, um, what is it? The augmented reality thing on the 3DS that totally failed. Let's take a look at exactly what this is. A game like this is booted up on a dark night when you're completely alone seems like a surefire way to shit your pants. Night Terror is an alternate reality game where you use your phone to see digital terrors. In a way, it looks a lot like the house-centric horrors PT offered on the PS4, except in real life and therefore potentially way, way scarier. While it does seem to have some jump scares, I think what really sells this is the audio. Like the Silent Hills demo, it seems as if a built-in radio will narrate some of the experience, and the things the game says are kind of eerie. Note for example how the radio guy goes upon about saying how this is all in your head. When the player stands still, he actually notes it. This is kind of cool. The developers say that the game understands when you're standing and actively uses the information to craft your experience. The camera and microphone feeds are analyzed and processed in real time, they note on the Night Terror's Indiegogo page. Photorealistic elements are added to the camera feed, audio is spatialized, um, mixed with the microphone feed and then routed to the headphones delivering an immersive bi bomb, excuse me, binaural audio experience. Holy shit. Binaural audio, as you may know, which I don't know, is special in that it aims to make the user physically feel stuff. When it's successful, it's pretty damn good. The most terrifying, creepy pasta experience I've ever had involved binaural audio, which activated at a key point during the story. Probably the most intense feeling of dread a game has made me feel, all thanks to the audio. It's hard to say if Night Terrors will succeed on the same front, but the potential is at least there. I also like that since the game takes place on your phone, it creates that authentic sort of found footage feel. Could be effective. Night Terrors is hoping to raise $70,000 on Indiegogo and currently they are almost halfway there. So this isn't something that I can just go and try out right now it seems, but um, let's take a look at exactly what the Indiegogo is saying because this seems like a very interesting idea. I never even knew about the existence of binaural audio or how it can have a physical effect on you, but maybe I've experienced before but just didn't know exactly what it was called. But let's check out that Indiegogo page right now and see exactly what in God's name we're looking at here. I didn't realize this would be a campaign when we first looked at this. You know, I usually do the first time reaction thing. So, I mean, whatever the case may be, let's look into this into some more detail because I definitely want to check out the video, but let's see exactly what they're giving to us in terms of like their, you know, paragraph presentation and whatnot. So the story, an ultra immersive gaming experience that transforms your environment into terrifying hellscape. Our aim is to create the scariest game ever made. Now that is what I like to hear. and. Uh, you know, the Kotaku article noted that there are jump scares available in the game, but you know, I feel like jump scares are definitely a cheap way of doing things, even though some of you might say, well, if you don't like jump scares, how could you like Five Nights at Freddy's? But the, the, you know, it's not just jump scares that that game offers, although some people only see it as that. I, I love the game for its story as well, but um, anyways, it's a highly immersive, photorealistic, binaural, augmented reality survival horror game for mobile devices. The gameplay takes place at home after dark with the lights off and your headphones on. Think about a system that understands where you are in your environment and is able to exploit that information in order to create an unbelievable augmented reality experience. Think about playing a game where the storyline involves you. Consider a future full of movies you star in, experiences that seem real, and scenarios in our case that are freakishly frightening. This is your house, this is your apartment, this is your environment, this is night terrors. This shit sounds crazy as fuck. I mean, but to be honest with you guys, you know, of course it can hype it up big time on the Indiegogo page. I mean, is it Indiegogo? Yeah, this is Indiegogo. It can hype it up big time on the page, but you know, how many times have we seen campaigns like this fall flat on their ass for one reason or another? Either they don't get enough funding, or usually they do get enough funding, but they just 
decide to just fuck their campaign supporters up the ass. I'm hoping this is not one of them because I've seen a lot of Indiegogo that I had a lot of my hope invested in, only to see them take advantage of their um, supporters by either not delivering on the product at all or delivering, but it being such a watered down experience from their initial claims that it's not even worth trying out, you know? So I'm hoping this is not the case. I got my eye on you, Night Terrors. Like, I mean, I hope you don't fuck us up. Don't fuck us up because I'm really looking forward to this. It sounds like it'll be a great experience because I love being scared genuinely, not jump scared. I like being, I like feeling terrified and this looks like it's going to capture that horror aspect perfectly. And this is before we even fucking watch the video. Let's see exactly what's going on here. Yo, already the ambience is set. I'm liking this. developer of Night Terrors, an augmented reality survival horror game. You might ask him, why did you call this Night Terrors? Well, he called it Night Terrors because you can only stay at night and there are so many terrors in the game. Okay. Why are we still waiting for that really great augmented reality game? Where are those games that are so believable and so immersive that you're afraid to play them? That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of game I want. Has come. Where I'm scared to play that bitch. You hear the familiar click of interference. A young girl tortured in another world needs your help. You have to save the little girl. She's ape and she's trapped in a world. You have no weapons. It's a little different. It's you're not stationary. You're walking around, okay. you're turning a corner, and being scared. Never ever get too close to a ghost. They'll destroy your connection. When a demon chases you, you will run away. Yeah. When a girl calls your name. Probably. You will follow. This looks so intricate. I'm kind of wondering how the hell this is going to even. How is it going to keep track of? During the research stage of this game, I read paper after paper that basically said what we wanted to do was impossible. Yeah. The game takes advantage of every component. In That's the how device. I feel. Like, how the camera, is this possible? The microphone, the LED, the accelerometer, the gyroscope, the GPS. Every component comes together to form a single camera depth estimation system that makes the impossible possible. The quality of the data is good enough that the game actually builds a map of your home as you're playing it. This allows really? the monsters to move around within the environment exactly as they would if they were real. Really? Before I started making games, I was a cinematographer. I really hope this can be pulled off the way they said. And that knowledge of light has turned out to be the most important asset I've had in making this game. Damn, 3D dude. models are not the way to go with augmented reality right now. The mobile platforms just aren't fast enough. You yeah. can't make the elements believable. It's a bad idea. In Night Terrors, content isn't rendered as is typical in a game. It's composited much like it is in a movie. By using actors in makeup and costume, puppets and practical effects, we're able to deliver a highly immersive and photorealistic experience. What we are hell? totally committed to providing an unforgettable this, experience. Look at that shit. Something that people haven't seen that or is felt crazy. before. In Night Terrors, nothing just happens. The game's understanding of the environment motivates how the elements look, how they behave, and how they sound. This sounds amazing. Audio yeah. characteristics like reverb change from room to room based on the game's understanding of your surroundings. The game keeps track of your position within the environment. When an element is behind a wall, the game understands that a wall So it'll be like a smaller player, sound. And the element sounds like it's behind a wall, and it behaves like it's behind a wall. And when played with headphones, Night Terrors delivers a spatialized binaural audio experience. Binaural. 
Thanks for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed it. We've been working on this for 14 months. Damn, There's still a lot bro. of work left to do. Right now, augmented reality is just a gimmick. But it, it has is a the gimmick. potential to be so much more. Every great book, film, and game pulls you into its world. Yeah. A great augmented reality game should escape from its world and enter yours. With your help, we can show the world what's actually possible. Thank you for watching. Holy crap, guys. All right, so obviously there's a lot that they're promising here and it seems it seems like a little bit of a tall order in my book. I mean, how in God's name is this thing going to be able to take advantage of mapping out your home on a cell phone? I mean, there's there's a lot of things that he said that could be taken advantage of, you know, the accelerometer, the gyroscope, GPS even, which is kind of crazy in my book. There's a lot of big promises here, which is typical of any campaign trying to raise crowd funds. But I'm just hoping that the delivered product is not watered down, which is something that everybody, you know, in general would hope for. This project, definitely telling from like the ambiance of everything and just like what they're promising on, I'm excited about it, but I'm not sure if the end product will be able to deliver an experience as polished as what they're showing off in this video. Um, how is it going to work in different house types, for example, in an apartment which doesn't have that much room? Where are the thrills really going to come from? You know what I mean? Do you have to have a big ass house with multiple rooms in order to make this thing work out the way you would want it to? Is it really going to be as disturbing as they said? And how in God's name is a cell phone camera going to be able to keep up with the mapping of the rooms in a dark lit environment where cell phones suffer in low light in the first place? There's a lot of questions on the table, but at the same time, even though I have a lot of skepticism, I have a lot of doubt, a lot of questions, a lot just a, just a lot of, I guess you can consider them negative thoughts about this. At the same time, deep down, I am passionate about this. And I really want this to work out. I'm looking forward to it. This looks like it's going to be a genuine horror experience without all the jump scare bullshit that we're all used to from horror nowadays. Let me know in the comments what you think about this whole thing. Big shout out to Kotaku for bringing this to the forefront. I'm excited for this. And I think if you're into horror as well, too, you definitely should keep up with the project as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to contribute considering, you know, I got to make my funds last as well, too. It's not going to be an easy summer considering my channel's views kind of dropped from last month. But I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.